What's up everybody, this is Harley and I appreciate you checking out this video. So this one's gonna be, well it's something that a lot of people have done, but I got asked this question in a live stream I was doing, so I wanted to share some of my basic knowledge around Tmux and hopefully encourage you to start using it because it's an awesome tool that I know I was very very much intimidated to start using, but I am so glad that I have because I couldn't imagine trying to, to do anything without it. <laughs> so definitely if you're on the fence about whether or not you want to start using Tmux, just just start. You know, it's going to be weird at first and you're going to have to look it up a lot at first, but once uh, once you start using it, eventually it'll become second nature and you really don't think about it too much. So this is a, a quick brief tutorial on some Tmux basics. It's definitely not going to dive into crazy customizations or awesome plugins or anything like that. This is just going to help you get started. So. I created this directory and, and what I always like to do before I start my Tmux session is I like to change into the directory um, that, that I want all of my panes to default to opening to. So what I mean by that is when you, very, when you start, before you do anything else, you just run Tmux new and then you give it this tack T and whatever value you assign here is going to be kind of like the name of your Tmux session. So in this case, I'm going to call it Tmux. So we're just going to say start a new session called Tmux and when I press enter here, it's going to start Tmux and you can tell because of this blue bar that's going on down here at the bottom. Um, but notice the default pane it threw me in is that present working directory that I was already in, right? That was the directory I was already located in and if I open a new pane, it takes me to the directory I was already located in. So this is helpful to know, right? Because if you were in a different direct directory when you started Tmux, then maybe the directory you actually want to work in, um, you may consider killing the session and, and then changing what directory you start the session in, so that way you always default to it. Just a way to stay organized. But some really basics about Tmux, I mean, the at, I know when I was first looking at it, I wanted to know how can I split panes and just maximize my screen space, right? So the way Tmux kind of operates is out of this idea of a prefix key. So by default, the prefix key is control plus B. And yeah, you can modify that, but I never did. And for purposes of this video, I'm not going to show you how to do that. Um, so anytime that I talk about a prefix key, we're saying press control B and so hold down control and then B and then press the next key in the list. So in my case, I'm going to hold down control. I'm going to press B. Now I'm, I've, I've pressed my prefix key. The next thing I press on the keyboard is going to send a command to Tmux. So if I come back in here and if I wanted to, let's say, I like to split my pane, right? Split the windows. So if I want to do a vertical split, we're going to use the percent sign. So that does mean you have to hold down shift and then press the number five. So I'm going to do that now, shift five. And now we've made that vertical split. And it sounds kind of intimidating at first, right? But eventually you get the hang of it. So control B, percent sign, control B, percent sign, control B, percent sign, right? And that's going to make a vertical split each time. And it's going to split it down the middle of basically what pane you are in. That's why I notice how it slowly gets smaller and smaller. But what if I wanted to reorganize all of these, right? Obviously this one's so small that I really can't do much with. I There are ways to say, okay, move this pane here to the left and move that one here and, and move this one down. But honestly, I like Tmux's like randomization feature. So if you use your prefix key, that's control B, and then you hit the space bar, it's going to automatically randomize the position of each of these panes. And I found in most cases, it tries to make them all equal. And you can do it again, and then again, and again, right? Until you find something that you like. And again, you don't have to use this, but this is definitely a feature that I like to use. So um, after that, I usually just type exit to kill the panes that I don't care about. I bet there is a, a way to actually detach or kill that one pane. Um, but I don't really care enough to look it up because I just like to type exit and that does the job for me. So we know about the vertical split, but what if we want to create a horizontal split? It's the same thing. You use your prefix key and then you use the double quote. So prefix key, double quote. And now we've got that. And then if you do prefix key percent sign, it makes the horizontal split, right? And if you wanted to randomize them all, control uh, prefix key space bar. So that's, that's honestly like the really key basics. Now, what if I'm in this pane, but I want it to go into this pane over here, 
right? The way you do that is you use the arrow keys, but you just have to press the prefix key first. So I'm gonna do control B, and now I'm gonna hit the right arrow key. And that takes me over to the right side. Notice how I'm here in this pane. So I'm gonna do control B, and then I'm gonna press the up arrow key to move up to this one, right? And then you just kinda, you just move around that way. And I usually press control B between each one to make sure that I can control which one I'm in. Um, but if you're fast enough, you could do like control B and then you could do like right down. And then notice if you watch it, if you're fast enough, it'll just go ahead and move you to the direction that you want. So that's how you kind of move between your panes. That's how you split them. And I think for most cases, those are really the real basics that you need to know to just get started with Tmux. If you wanted to get fancier, there are others. Um, this one is super helpful. I use this one all the time. Uh, prefix key Z is going to make that your, your primary screen, right? So if I just made a bunch of panes here, let's do four panes. Um, and I'm working in, in this one, maybe I've got like Lin P's running and it's producing like a ton of output. So I've got a ton of output here, um, but I want to kind of focus on it better. You can do control B, to, that's your prefix key. And then you can press Z. And I like to think of that as zoom. I think maybe that's what it stands for. But notice how now that filled the entire window. So now I'm looking at this as it's my primary window. And to zoom back out, you do control B, Z again. And then now you can see your other panes that you had. So that one's really helpful. Um, let's say you've got four panes and you really don't want more than that, right? Or maybe all of these are running in map scans or they're doing some sort of enumeration. So then what you can do is you can do control B and you can press C. And when you do that, notice now we've got two different panes. We've got this one called zero and then this one called one. And if I wanted to go back to the zero pane, I can, I can press control B and then zero on the keyboard. Now we're back to where those four panes were, right? And we could tell which pane we're in based on what that star is, is indicating. So we can see we're in pane zero. If I do control B one, star moves over here and now we're over here. But let's go back to zero and let's just rename this pane because ZSH isn't really very descriptive, right? I said that this was all about enumeration. We've got all of our go busters and in maps. So I'm gonna do control B and then I'm gonna use a comma. And then notice how we've got this option here to rename the window. So I'm gonna delete what's in there and I'm gonna call this enumeration. And then I'm gonna press enter. So now at the bottom, we have this listed as enumeration. We can go to pane one, we can do whatever we wanna do, right? Move on, do other things. Um, but then when we're ready, we can go back and look at our enumeration by hitting control B zero. So that's how you kind of switch between and, and maximize the different workspaces. You can do this as many times as you want. I'm just hitting control B C over and over and over again. Now we've got six of these. And I have noticed once you get to 10, I don't actually know how do you switch between them uh, because you can't give it like, as soon as you go to do control B 10, you have to hit the number one first, right? So it always would end up switching me back to the first pane. So I bet there is a way to pull that off. If you know, please let me know in the comments. Um, but because of that reason, I typically just always make sure I have less than 10 panes running. Um, let's see. There, again, there's, there's all kinds of different just regular command line based tricks. Like if you have a full on command that's like sudo in map, we'll just take this as an example, right? So we have an in map command here. Um, and yeah, you can hold left to move left and right. Um, but if you hold down the control key, you can kind of jump in places just by hitting the arrow keys. So let's say we wanted to run this command, but we needed to modify the IP address. Instead of just holding down left, I could use control to quickly jump to the IP address location. And then I can go ahead and modify this to whatever the new IP address is, right? Um, so that's, that's typically helpful. Another thing I like to do is control R. This will allow you to kind of search through your uh, history. And this isn't necessarily related to Tmux, but now we can search through our history. If I start typing sudo, it says, hey, do you mean sudo Python, blah, blah, blah. And just by pressing enter, it's gonna automatically autofill that command and it's gonna run it for me here. 
So that's something that's kind of helpful that is, is worth a mention. Um, if you're interested in other basic TMUX stuff or basic helpful command line things, feel free to check out this. The link will be in the description. And if there are some items that you know about TMUX that you think are really worth a mention, please let me know. Uh, I'm definitely looking to learn and expand my knowledge too. So I hope this helped you with really key basics. If you guys are interested in a more in-depth video about TMUX, that'll give me a chance to learn more, but hopefully teach you. Um, and yeah, let me know what you thought. Leave a like, hit, a, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll check you guys out in the next video.